Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I've got a very special video for you guys today. It's the first ever Channel Five Gaming Contest, and I'm joined here with Lauren. Today we're gonna be looking at the Go Kart Contest and showing you guys the results and the winners. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, guys, just to give you a quick rundown, this was the contest. Uh, Lauren helped me put this together, and we had three judges, myself, Lauren, and Pixelated. We, we announced this the 12 hours before Frontier announced theirs, and it was the exact same schedule as Frontier's. <laughs> it was pretty funny. The rules were pretty much the same. Uh, ours was you could do a 4K blueprint, and that, it was blueprint specific. What else was there, Lauren? Um, that was pretty much it. Um, just one submission per member was kind of our only limit, but as long as they stuck to the 4K, blueprint we didn't really care what you did inside of that right first place got uh the choice of three steam games pixelated has provided a list of steam games a whole bunch of good ones i'll show you guys that in a second second place uh gets to choose from two games and third place gets to choose from one game so there's a list of 62 games guys here they all are here pretty good list i'll let you guys pause it and i'll just scroll down and just so you guys know this is uh, a contest available the reason i didn't announce this earlier on youtube i mentioned it in some of the videos but this contest was for discord members only so it's one of the benefits from becoming a uh, discord member and if you want to become a discord member all you have to do is add channel 5 gaming 0054 to your friends list on discord and send me a link to your workshop and you can get in or you can become a patron so right after this contest is finished and we go, we show you guys the winners we're going to be announcing another contest and putting together the rules for that we're going to be doing contests on a monthly basis and we're going to be giving away games and adding games to this list every month so there's always going to be something fun for you guys to participate in get some recognition for your work and have some fun competing and also win a prize so that's pretty much it the judging on this was um the three of us we looked at everything and we just we we had a point system we were all anonymous we could not see each other's scores so uh there's five points for layout and design so how good your track is and the variety of it the banking the railings and all that stuff um the theme and the style was five points how well does your creation fit within the theme is the design cohesive does it tell a story the originality it did you come up with something completely original or did you copy some some current recreation of some sort and then the last one which gave you the most points was the artistry and level of detail how much detail did you put into it and how nice was your artwork and composition for a total of 25 points so we went through them one by one and then we basically gave each go-kart a score after that we looked at the total score points and we decided are we happy with this as our top five and we decided point system would pull out the top five and then we would discuss it from there we felt like one deserved to be the number one winner we would have a discussion turns out our point system was exact and we all agreed with the outcome so we didn't really have to do any discussion right lauren it was nope the, the point Not system really. was flawless so uh, it worked really well yeah we didn't have to change our minds or you know discuss what we thought was the number one winner the points pretty much nailed it for us so that's the contest guys and everything you need to know we're gonna jump into the game i'll show you guys the top 10 list at the end you guys can see who got in the top 10 and there were 22 contestants overall that uh joined in on the contest and we're gonna look at number six five and four the honorable mentions really quick all right guys so first we're gonna do our honorable mentions um Fifth and sixth place were tied. So this is a tie for fifth place here. And this was the Forgotten Raceway created by Segs. He did a Enchanted Forest. It is a Forgotten Raceway. We're, we're, we're going to ride the first place winners, first, second, and third. We're just going to give you guys a quick zoom through the Forgotten Forest and give you guys a feel for the, um, the, the layout. Now, these were literally tied point for point with the there's another one i'm going to show you guys next they were tied and we were having a discussion and we couldn't really decide which one we liked more we liked them equally so we decided to do an honorable mention and show them both so this is technically a fifth place winner um and that is the forgotten raceway created by segs is that right lauren yep yeah so it was very nice indeed so the person he tied with was taco kings um what would he call it taco raceway so here we'll take a look at it at daytime and it was really clever design he's he is the taco king we, <laughs> we thought it was really original and between the two of them they both got for fifth place technically because we couldn't decide which one we liked more they're both unique for their own reasons and this one was very uh joyful playful and very unique there's all these little custom tacos uh, a lot of cute stuff going on with this one so I'll give you guys a quick zip around on this. We really liked how the elevation, it went up into the mountains like this. And, uh, well. I think you're actually going backwards. <laughs> am I? Yeah. Oh, I'm going backwards. 
<laughs> my bad. Uh, links for all of these will be down in the description below, guys. So I'm going to put a links for, um, I guess, the top six. And then, because we had a tie here for fifth. So there you have it. And then number four, cracking carts created by Combat Wombat. Now, um, <laughs> <laughs> this one, it, it was really fun. I really enjoyed this. Uh, we have this, like, station here that's made out of, like, a junk heap, I guess. It's, it's very playful and colorful. He's got all these little tenty foos and this winter stand with the trophies. Very cute. Um, and he had basically Krakens all over the place on this. And it's very hilarious. And there's little uh, baby Krakens. Show the, yeah, there's little baby Krakens. And apparently it's like a mini game to find them all. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys download this, he's got a mini game that you, maybe you can play it for yourself. And uh, go into his comment sections and see if you can count all the Krakens. He wants someone to figure out... How many krakens baby krakens you can find so uh the one you've get you guys probably seen this on the workshop he made the kraken go-kart he's like the kraken king of the go-karts it's very adorable and hilarious so um <laughs> it's it's honestly the one of the most playful things i've ever seen and uh it it's really cool so well done combat wombat for getting fourth place and there it is everybody so that's it for the honorable mentions. We're going to jump into showing you guys the top three winners of the go-karts. All right, so your third place winner is Mansion Carts, created by FSF Ranger, person who has brought to the Hotel Dusk. It's very reminiscent. If we go to daytime, I can show you guys here. The building is very ornate, very detailed. We love the artistry on this one, and it's just really well designed, really beautiful. And uh, let's get this thing open and we'll give it a ride. We found that it uh, was better at nighttime, but it rides well at daytime as well. But it's very spooky. So I'm going to get the volume up. We're going to get some people on here and we're going to ride the mansion carts. All right, here we go, guys. Mansion carts. So there you have it, everybody. Very awesome. Something about it reminds me kind of like the uh, the haunted rides in Mario Go Kart, didn't it? I guess you have to hear the music. <laughs> um, it was a very fun and very detailed ride. So really well done, and congratulations to FSF's Ranger for placing third place in the Channel Five Gaming Go Kart competition. Congrats. There you go. So very well done indeed. Links will be down in the description below, guys, if you want to place this in your parks and come rate it and all that good stuff. All right, your second place winner for the Channel 5 Gaming Go-Kart Competition is Grand Torino Heist, created by Zephor. Very well done indeed. What do, what do we say about this one, Lauren? You, the theme is kind of uh, an Italian theme, I guess? Yeah, it's like through an Italian city. All I can say is it's pretty impressive. I like the... Um... Well, I mean, I guess people will see, but he's crammed a lot in. I like we could not believe this was a 500 meter track. Oh, I guess because we could say he also entered it into the Planet Coaster competition, which was totally allowed. But yep. um, so he kept it to the 500 meter length for their competition, and, and he crammed 2, a lot pieces. of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're um, there's some really funny details as well. I want to point this out. He's got a poop scooper. Um, I thought this was hilarious. <laughs> and he's got sewers in here. He's got water spilling over it's quite a lot going on um gold falling out of a bus he's even got some alpines in there some snow and i really love this this is really beautiful how the track goes underneath has a little window pier 
um, and it's it's intertwining all through the mountains and stuff like that. It goes through this little city. Um, it's absolutely a beautiful design. The intricacies are really um, awesome and the details are quite amazing. So it was a very close tie between this, well not tie, but literally one point away from first place tie, right? It was that mm -hmm. that close. So it's it could have almost won. It was that close. So very well done indeed. And um, we're gonna give it a ride. Is there anything you wanna add, Lauren? Um, not too much other than I really liked that he had the priority pass included in the blueprint because you don't see that very often, but he did a great job with it, so. There you have it. All right, let's give it a go. All right, here we go. I love how he's put stuff on the road for you to dodge. That was very clever, yeah. I mean, we've seen it in a couple other rides too, but yeah, I like his, um, like the street cart style. Going through the sewers. He's got poo mirrors everywhere. <laughs> I like this bridge a lot, like making the yeah. wave with it. That was clever. The poop scooper. Watch out! There it is. Definitely very windy and it feels like for 495 meters it felt a lot longer. It just, it does so much, it covers so much ground, it goes through so many areas and uh, that's, uh, yeah, there was it was just so compact, so well. Uh, Zayfor is known for his ability to make these amazingly compact rides and it was really nice to see him do that with the, the go-karts. So it was very fun. Great job and congrats on second place. So there you have it, Zayfor with the Grand Torino Heist in second place. So congratulations, Zayfor, you did an outstanding job. All right, the first place winner of the Channel 5 Gaming Go-Karts competition goes to Doomsday Derby created by Wazalski. Congratulations, Wazalski, you did an outstanding job. We absolutely love this. Holy moly, what do we say about this, Lauren? It's such a unique design. <laughs> um, and I was saying to Lauren that, oh my God, somebody needs to make a death race. And he's done it. And it it was a, a unanimous decision, essentially. And it just so happened to be that, like, I didn't have any favoritism here. In fact, I think I scored Zephyr slightly higher. But the other two judges scored this one even higher. But they're very close. And uh, so even though I love the death race idea, this one just deserved to be there by based on all of us. Is that right? So... Mm-hmm. There's a lot of amazing things going on here, and even the nighttime lighting is quite incredible. Look at that. It's a work of art. It's got spikes and just crazy stuff happening everywhere. Gears. It feels like something straight out of Mad Max or one of those Death Race movies. There's some really crazy things going on. These chomping things, and uh, it's just packed front to back. So much detail, so much crazy stuff going on. And uh, I'm absolutely in love with this thing. So good job, Wazalski. Uh, you did a fantastic job with this. So he also created the Batman ride, the, uh, the War on Arkham City, which you guys saw and loved just a few weeks ago. And then he did the Alien movie ride as well. So that's Wazalski's background for you guys from what we've seen on Channel 5 Gaming. And uh, now he's coming forward with the Doomsday Derby. And this thing is absolutely astonishing. So really well done. Let's give this thing a ride. And I think uh, for the winner, we'll do a ride at daytime and we'll do a ride at nighttime. Are you ready? Ready. He's also got really good choice of music and some good sound effects, and I felt like that really also put it over the top. And look at this crazy dog robot. Oh! Terrible drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. Look at all these contraptions. Absolutely love this.
know, I didn't even notice the in, when we judged it that he had number signs over all the little go-kart parking spots. Oh. Are we still going, or did I pass through twice? Uh, this is the second round. Oh. All right. Well, we'll give it another lap at nighttime. He is the winner after all. We'll soak it up. <laughs> I, I was so immersed, I didn't even notice I passed through the finish line. We can even change view a little bit. I love how he decorated that scooper bucket from the update. Boom. Let's give this a uh, victory lap at nighttime, guys. Beautiful lighting. There's all the little signs that you're talking about. Yeah, it's super cute. Now, one thing I forgot to check, or uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, is this a 4K or 2K? So 2K, and so I think this one was also for the Frontier contest. Is that right? I think 400, so. Yeah. Well, it qualifies. It has all the requirements. So there you go. So that's the Doomsday Derby, everybody. Uh, congratulations, Wazalski, on winning the first ever Channel 5 Gaming. Uh, competition. I think you did an outstanding job, and I think everybody watching this should come rate it and get it to the front page of Steam. It absolutely deserves it, and I think it represents uh, it's it just it's such a good representation of the go-karts. It's a death race. It's very, uh, it's almost like a dark ride in a sense, and uh, it's so much fun. So well done to Wazalski. Yay, congrats! I might as well st make an announcement of the next one. So if you guys want to participate in these competitions all you have to do is join our discord you can do so be by adding me as a friend on discord and sending me a link to your workshop that you play the game and we'll get you set up or you can become a patron and join instantly the next competition that we're going to be doing lauren you want to say um we're thinking boomerangs yes boomerang coasters so that entails um using the two new boomerangs like the new coasters that were provided so there's the inverted boomerang and the corkscrew boomerang the ones that have the traditional reverse lift and it's going to be who could basically create the best designed coaster or i i would say the the most fun with the the theming everything included it's a whole package so more details on that will be provided to all the discord members um it's it'll it'll be up to 4k so we'll let you know that right now so if anyone wants to get started on it and it can use either of the two um coasters so any of the two new boomerang coasters you just got to theme theme it up and uh it'll be pretty much the same judging system as this one and uh the time we will probably give about two weeks for it so uh we're gonna we're gonna get the information out and release to everybody probably sometime in the next day or so but uh i think that's enough information to go off you have 4k you get to use one of the two blue boomerangs and you can pretty much get started picking your theme and just having fun with it there's not going to be any crazy restrictions as far as i can think of right lauren yeah i wouldn't think so uh hopefully you guys will participate become a discord member come join our awesome community and get involved in all the fun and uh also super special thanks to pixelated not only for the games but also for helping with the judging we had a great time and just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you so much, Pixelated, for providing our winners with a prize. And uh, thank you with your judging and being a part of the whole competition. And thank you to all the 22 uh, contestants for participating. All your guys' creations were amazing. Um, and But there can only be three winners. And congratulations once again to all the winners, uh, FSF Ranger, Zafor, and Wazalski. You guys all did a tremendous job. And I will contact you guys soon so you can pick your video games. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye now. Bye now.